Sav seems to attack it. So it became a shock cavalry, the, the shocking cavalry. Great. Maybe this whole double lippy plan isn't actually very good, guys. I'm beginning to think the juice isn't worth the squeeze. Give them no rest. No reprieve. <laughs> we call this deck roulette. Uh, this deck? I don't know if this deck is roulette. I'm a little sympathetic to calling decks like Kelly that desperately want to draw their Siri Dash in round one and like get specific coins. I'm a little sympathetic to calling those decks roulette, but I don't know, it doesn't seem too bad. What is it? Deals can be filed within seven years. I don't think there's anything wrong with saying a deck has really high variance, assuming that it's accurate. This thing is still real locked, right? Yeah. Mega scope. Oh my god, I'm gonna get it around. To this. I'm losing to this. Don't you pester me. I should have TA'd first. No. I'm a monkey. I don't want to discard this. Okay, that's fine. We'll kill Tax Collector next turn. There's like no good reason to scald first either. I don't know why I did that. No. No. At least he played Igor into an onboard counter. That was nice. Shield Maidens. They should replace the Shield Maiden voice lines with the Witch Apprentice voice lines. I'd be down to hear those more often. We'll be home! <laughs> Sewers remind me of the fjords back home. Force to discard both cards I draw. I need both of these. Yeah, it's probably not a good long-term strategy, but whatever. So mm. Not punished, but also not rewarded. No, we, we've said the word a couple times. Brain dead got banned. Binary means something, even if it gets misused a lot. Binary certainly gets misused to the point where it no longer has meaning. Binary might be the new midrange. Um, no 
no fear. Correct use of binary. Something like Colgrim is very binary, where it's either doing its thing or it's not, and it's just not doing anything. Either functioning or not functioning with no in between. Like Bomb Heaver was a very binary card. Either answered a scenario or was just a four point card. Tall removal can be very binary. Like a Geralt of Rivia. Very binary card. I'd say Voltlist is binary. But just because something has a high ceiling doesn't mean it's binary. If its floor is also high, right? Like, Voltlist's floor is pretty high. It doesn't really have a zero mode. Unless you're considering, like, not being able to play it on a unit, a mode. She who knows is pretty binary. Kind of. For its provision costs, it's fairly binary. Less extreme than some of the other examples. But a better example than something like Foltest. Yeah, Squirrel's fairly binary. More reasonable floor for a 4P card, but fairly binary. No sniper route tonight, Trinit Happery. <laughs> hey, Orkin Tears. Thanks for the Prime. Thanks for the 26 months. Welcome back. And there is no Tortoise. Tortoise Cam is binary. Tortoise Cam is binary. He's either there or he's not. No room for middle ground. Good enough for me. Siri Dash is binary. Yeah, Siri Dash is very binary. Elder Bear effects in general are pretty binary. I mean, it is a word thrown around a lot. It gets misused a lot, but it does mean something. There are reasons to use the word. I promise you a quick You'll suffer the consequences of your foolishness. Can I see display you list another turn here? Curses, dude. No! I don't have that many anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we're good. We're good. Gurney. 
Whoa. Turn one, Zerus. Full package out, turn one. So you could use the strays if the melee row would get too full from like the Saras and discard package. I don't think that ends up being an issue here, but it is worth it to acknowledge. Hey, the elusive man. How you doing? Depends. With strays, if you have too many shield maidens, you can also like pull one to the range throw. Hit it again. I'm starting to run out of things to do. I'm a little worried about playing Heat Wave. You can still a narrow for Curse. And I guess I want to do this before I lippy. Out of things to do. Hmm. Kinda. I can do this. Uh, I suppose I'm the end. Crack, I need to be girly. Looky here. Decoy doing here, replaying Lippy. <laughs> Something about Hadrian Mar in particular going off at CDPR. I just, just find funny. <laughs> you can still take with She Who Knows. I don't want to play the, the curse. Yeah, okay. That's fine. What's well, still in here? I want my decree. I'm probably not gonna get my decree, but I do want my decree. Just replaying what we do. Let you play Saris again. Yikes. <laughs> I'm gonna get it around. Uh, I need this decree if I want to win the game. So, here it is. Okay, cool. I don't need the Scald. I also might still just not have enough points.
Whoa. Okay, the Zidoran's going off. I can't heat wave it. If I heat wave it, I don't have a Saras for round three. I tried. He has plenty of space. He has consumes. Fucking decoy. Is a hard card to beat. Let's see. Let's be happy that I'm not bricked. I have a megascope. I have my Saris. Go for the coral now. I always want to resolve Megascope. I don't think there's anything super urgent going on. Let's do this. Yeah, you can't renew Lippy. Cost 11. Can decoy it. So, we've seen that go wrong a couple of times already. Not the most reliable card in the world. Is a thing that can happen. No, the unbeatable card. My game plan in shambles. Hmm. Not that bad. It's pretty bad, but at least it's not a squirrel. Played the top card. I mean, it wouldn't solve the problem of decoy sometimes playing the card you just put back. Oh, it does play the top card. <laughs> Slow, <ain't ya? laughs> but it doesn't solve the problem of sometimes decoy puts the card on top. So, 
my points. Don't you, Hester May? Those are points. Just one more, sir. Less points on my lippy, but at least it's points now. They really help win round one. It didn't help win round one. I'm still just as dead as I was three turns ago. Give up on vamps. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I don't know. We might play Vamps at some point this week, give it a shot. I usually play it like once a season, but I've been playing a lot of Monsters decks lately. Did I review decks from the weekend tournament? Uh, not really. There wasn't really a whole lot to talk about. The Elder good still. Elder's alright. As far as like high-end monsters cards go, if Devo is not too big of a cost, you're probably putting Elder in your Devo deck. How do I feel about the Relic deck? Uh, like the Kostya deck? I don't know if I'd call our Relic deck. It's good. For whatever reason, it's not putting up great results on Pro Rank. I'm guessing, like, it's Syndicate matchups really bad. It felt pretty alright into NR, but maybe I'm just playing against bad NR decks. I can still decoy Lippy. It was too good for- yeah, it was definitely too good for rank 1. It seemed to beat everything. Pretty sure that the list can be improved. Like Tailbot's take from the uh, from qualifiers was sort of interesting. Strazen, I could. Not really anything worth bountying here. Not too worried about it. Am I surprised by how good relics are? Uh, not really. All the cards are just kind of good. Kane Kane's a 9 for 5, which Apprentice is a pretty nutty 4 provision card. The Crone's got a lot better. The Vampires need more points. <laughs> it's like always the answer whenever anyone ever asks that question, but like, it's just kind of a silly question. The answer is just always more points. If something is too weak, it probably doesn't have enough points. He, he killed my Lippy. I can't win without my Lippy. I didn't think he was gonna do that. I mean, there's a lot of ways that you can give the deck more points, but it just depends what the designers want to do with vampires.
drain as a mechanic? Uh, I don't know. That's a thing. I don't think it means very much. It's flavorful for vampires, I guess. Yes, they can do any number of things. Just depends what they would like to do, if they want to do anything. Drain is on one card. It was on Proto Flutter, but Proto Flutter got reworked. Is it still on Regis Higher Vampire? Or not Higher Vampire. The one that yoinks power. Trevor Belmont be considered a witchy. With the Castlevania dude. So wait. Because this popped out here, there's no way for him to have a pocket. He might just play a Cleaver, but I don't think I want to wave this. It is Higher Vampire. Oh. What's the one that deals 4 damage? Oh, that's Bloodlust. No, you're right. You're right. One man's Got him. Is another man's right patch for harvest. There's no universe where I am. Killing that with Heat Wave. You shall confess all in due course. I guess I'll hold out for him, maybe spending on Jackal next turn. Just don't get unlucky. Eh. Only moderately unlucky. Could have been worse. I don't know. I don't know if you really want those neutral deal fours to be pushed. They're not very exciting cards for them to be competitive. We win? Keepo drill. <laughs> oh. Poor people drill. Just great. Ooh, D's bear. Hey, dude. Yeah, the, the gold. The 10 provision thing. Okay, he's back. Devotionless Symbiosis Day come from? Uh, Regime was streaming it early in the season. I don't know if he made it. Uh, have you seen a fuse flying about, have you? Let's see. I guess we just do this. Yeah, pretty sure this is OP Bear. His Twitch name used to be Dee's Bear, so I'm pretty sure it's him. It my tree. I was born in it. I shall die with it. Awful consistency. Uh, you kinda. You can play riders. You can sort of get away with playing Wild Hunt Wrath and Gale, or Endless Wrath and Gales. So you get a little bit more thinning that way. But yeah. If you wanna go Devo, it's gonna be rough. The alternative is to not go D.Va, right? Then you get to just play Neuromancy. 
pick up Maxi too, maybe. Yep, we are playing Lippy. Unseen worth including. It could be. I don't know, if you want bleeds for Oriana. But the other option is you just don't play Unseen Elder, right? If it's not worth playing, it's not like there aren't other options. So what's going on here? Foglets will help. You can try. You have to fit in... Wait, Foglets. Wait, what are Foglets for? I just thought you were talking about the, the thinning browns. But that's Arcaspore. Um... I mean, you could. You probably want more than just Crimson Curse if you want to play Ancient Foglet. Maybe you can try playing Ancient Foglet with, like, the Laughing Crimson Curse. I don't know that that's enough, but you could try it. You can get some extra thinning, too, if you go, uh, like, Red Riders Winter Queen. But you would much prefer to be our gif with Ancient Foglet. Not sure Vampires wants to play it twice, though. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe just too many conflicting packages. Um... Man. This long round's definitely a problem. I mean, I can discard it. Okay, there's the lippy. So this didn't need to use a tutor on the lippy. If he doesn't boost it up, I can gutting slash it. If he does boost it up, spit it out already. I don't have all day. Then uh, I don't know. If he just like leader charged it, I'd be pretty sad. I don't really want to heat wave a five. Feels real bad heat waving a figus. Just trade down two points. Should go Oswald. I don't know, maybe. 
Depends on the rest of the deck. My folk have suffered much. Goodbye, Francesca. Just backing the way in the nuclear brand instead of Kes Ross, maybe. <laughs> Could just be Great Oak too. I think it's a list going around that plays Oak. Got skirmishers, it's a reason to play on melee too. You have to put the Fran range, so who knows? Time for some marauding. That's why we killed all the treants. I'm going to continue killing all of the treants. I guess I can leader charge my Savage Bear away, in case I draw the Skirm. Oh, okay, not even necessary. There's only one Skirm, right? Yeah. We shall do it my way. Hey, Narwaka. I'll feel pretty silly if the Skirm's of Corruption ends up bricked, but I believe. Easy enough. Actually kinda good. I can Savage Bear for six. Some more points than the rest of this garbage. It's actually seven. Yeah, okay. Pretty sure we got him. Turns out we could win the long round. You've got the heart of an uncrate. Bear definitely picked the wrong day to try to snipe with double shoop. Trying to double shoop the Curse of Corruption Heatwave deck. Probably not an idea that's gonna work. Tortoise cam. No tortoise. Kill that in two turns. I suppose, and the end. Crack and eat me, girly. Looky here. I'll try to save the more. Just discard the bear. Who 
boost up the Dunker. Yeah. Um, yeah, sure. I'm gonna let him back anyway. Work even have worked. Oh no, yeah. I understand questioning tempering being a nature. I agree that that's sort of antithetical to what the card is, but what does that have to do with Invo being a spell? Uh, power reasons. Also, like, Tempering is definitely a nature for power reasons, but, like, Invo is both flavorfully and for power reasons, not a tactic. Like, the card's good enough with an irrelevant tag. I don't think tempering was in nature when they introduced it to the game. I think it got buffed to have the nature tag. Let me check. Tempering... No, it was. It was. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure why they flavored it tempering if it was going to be a nature from the first start, in the first place. I could have sworn they added it later. I have none of my tutors? Wait, what's the problem? Hey, listen here. Listen okay. Well. well, Wele was a tactic because there was a leader that cared about unique tags. And Wei Lei gave you another unique tag. Oh yeah, gave that tag. Not gonna play it. Um... I could drown you in a single drop. What is it? I think it was in org. It was organic before Arrakis was like a playable deck. Or like Arrakis Swarm was a playable deck. When did that change? I didn't before there was an organic tutor actually. When did. This thing wasn't always a tutor, was it? No, it was. Oh, it was a two for ten. They were really expensive. 
Bone Talisman. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. In February it changed. February after homecoming. It didn't last very long. No mercy. I do what I must. Today, I'll do so sword in hand. When's a two for ten? Yeah, that's not entirely fair. <laughs> Oh, there were six cards in our deck before playing the decoy. Oh, but it counts units, right? Yeah, it might have been really bad odds. Oh, I need to draw the lippy. I need to draw the lippy! Oh my god. Literal bottom card friend. Megascope. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't have to do that now. I could do that next turn. Ah, he won't kill it. I should put a melee too. These aren't bronzes, so I still could have played the lippy first. Come to me, little one. Broken. Located. <laughs> you knew to kill the maiden. He might have tried to and just missed the rebuke. Nothing bombs guaranteed. Oh, true, true. to not play a 2D. Okay, cool. I mean, we both played that round three wrong. Like, I should have just let on Lippy. There was no reason to not. For some reason, I was thinking if I played the Lippy, I was going to have a bronze in play. I'm going to have to copy something with Megascope. No tortoise. Oh, the decoy is for Lippy. So in a way, both of them. Defeat them with hunger, crush them with thirst. Warhawk the Barrier. Your opponent's got some points.
Mr. Opponent drew all their thinning. Have extra charges. Behind? We're behind? Curse of Corruption. I'm just not playing any more cards this round. I guess I could discard the Oniromancy. Let's me play the round a little bit more. Still in deck. I think I just loopy this away. It does feel kind of bad having these in hand, though. It doesn't work with discard targets. With Iced, I think it plays the top card from your deck. Or top unit from your deck. Yeah, it only works with Ice's Devotion, because you're not discarding. to try to bleed ball. I trust every last one with my life. I suppose I'm the end. Barbarians all. I'll curse it. Two charges. I should be able to use two on the shield mate and then dog. Just draw the lippy. I don't even need the lippy, right? Because I, I guess I will need the lippy, but I can draw Saris plus lippy since I'm not. I don't necessarily need a tutor in round three. I guess this is the tutor that I'd want. I'll just do this. This should force the ball, right? Long live the Emperor. 
No, I haven't tried building hunger control. Carts. Carts. I should be your eyes, my lord. Get them no rest, no reprieve. Get the shield maiden. Uh, I think I'm leader charging that. I'm gonna try to draw the Saris. I didn't draw the Saris. It's kind of a problem. I can later charge my Shield Maiden. I guess. Should I just look at the Saris into the graveyard and then decree a Shield Maiden? Shield Maiden? Eh, it's whatever. It's pretty average. As far as metas go. I don't think there's any meta reports yet. Might start seeing them either this week or next week. Usually they wait until after the top 16 qualies at least. Decree the Saris, then Lippy. The problem with Decree the Saris, then Lippy is he just leader charges the Shield Maiden. So I think I have to just let me first. Got a challenge. And then at least we can get these shield maidens. Prepare to suffer and die. Pretty peeps released his. The Vomora has detached intruders. Time for some marauding. We 